Today, I'm talking about a question that many people ask when they're looking for a new place to live. Should they buy or should they rent? The decision to buy or rent a home, it could depend on a variety of factors, including your financial situation, your lifestyle, your long-term goals. So let's take a look at the pros and cons of each option. Hi, my name is Cindy Clarice and I'm a full-time Remax Platinum Realtor and I'm from this area. First, renting can be a great option if you're just starting out and you're not sure yet where you want to settle down. In renting a home, it gives you more flexibility in the terms of that location as you can move more easily if you find a better job or you want to explore a new area. You won't have to worry about the cost and the responsibilities of maintaining a home because you're going to have a landlord that's going to take care of any of those repairs or updates for you. However, if you're looking for a more long-term investment or buying a home, it might be your better option because when you buy a home, you're building equity over time, which means that you're investing in your own future. You also have more control over your living space because then you can make any changes or renovations that you want without needing to get permission from a landlord. Hey, I appreciate if you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and leave me a comment. Let me know what you'd like to hear more about. Of course, buying a home also comes with some potential drawbacks. You're going to need a good credit score and steady income in order to even qualify for a mortgage. And you'll also need to have some savings set aside for a down payment and closing cost. And you're going to be responsible for all the maintenance and the repairs that come with owning a home, which can add up over time. Renting and buying, they both have their pros and cons. So it's important to consider your own needs and your goals before making a decision. So if you're still not sure which option it's right for you, you might be a good idea to talk to a real estate agent or a financial advisor who can help you weigh the cost and the benefits. That's all for today's video. I hope this information has been helpful. And as always, if you have any questions about your real estate goals, please feel free to reach out and stay safe.